Hey guys, welcome back to day three of classroom setup. I have come to terms with the fact that this is what you're gonna get in terms of my appearance during these videos because they're working videos and that's just the way it is. I also feel like I'm gonna stop saying day three, day four because I might have to start smushing some days together due to limited time. But that being said, we are gonna jump right in. If you missed the first two set of videos, I will have them all linked down below as well as previous classroom setups. Um, so if you're needing to get inspired, go check those out. But I am sitting on the floor because I just finished making a ton of new labels. So I have made um, my math manipulative labels. I just created these on PowerPoint. I will link down below. I have an entire video explaining how I use PowerPoint to make my own labels. Um, and then I also made group labels for some baskets that I'm gonna show you in a minute. I also made little numbers for my mailboxes. So the first thing we're gonna do today is adhere all of those things so those spaces are dialed. And then we're gonna start on bulletin boards. So let's go. much cleaner I need to get six more of these these are just from Dollar Tree so this will be all full this side is still a hot mess but that's gonna stay like that for now so I can check this off my list I am going to go attach these to the mailboxes next okay that was super easy that took all of five minutes so I'm just using double-sided tape to adhere all these labels again I just made these the same way I made all my other labels video down below again this is just a shoe organizer they are so cheap if you can find them on facebook marketplace or something um and like i said in the last video they're not very big but it's just enough for papers or whatever you need so this is a really good mailbox hack um and i love it and i think it looks super clean and fresh <laughs> Of these are adhered I used hot glue for the baskets because double-sided sticky tape doesn't work as well so these are gonna house all of their homework binders so essentially they'll come in and they'll put their binders in here just because they're super big and they don't really need them throughout the day we just need them at the end of the day um, so I think this will be really good for storage okay we are moving on to bulletin boards now I have some ideas um, and I'm gonna walk you through them. We'll see. Okay, first things first, I have a green, a blue, a green, a blue, and then I took that down. Now, I also got those colors of paper, so my goal is to have one of each. So, because I know this board is such a pain, I'm gonna leave that one green, which means I'm gonna take this one down. I am also going to take down the headings carefully, because I'm probably going to use those, but um, I might rethink which board goes where. Um, I might end up recreating some. I don't really know. Oy. Okay. Also, I think I'm going to take down wow work because I find that every time we have something that I want to display, I display it in the windows facing that way because it's way more fun. Um, and I just like that. So... I didn't use this board hardly at all in sixth grade and last year, so I think I'm gonna take this down. And I think this is gonna be where we put our class pictures maybe, or maybe we'll do pictures up here and then we'll do the multiplication challenge right here. I don't know, but either way that's staying green. Um, so today I'm just gonna border it. My goal is just to get all the paper and borders up and then I can figure out what I want on each of them. So I'm gonna take them down and then rebuild. <laughs> Oh, 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 
all of the paper is up and I was gonna start doing borders but you guys I'm so extra these are the borders which I love but it really bugs me that the black doesn't go all the way around and when I put it up there it's cute but like it doesn't pop as much so the extra person me wants to take like black tape and just really quickly go around these but I'm out of black tape so I'm not going to do that today which is also why I said I'm gonna smash vlogs together because I actually have to leave. So, today is going to be wrapped up and we come the next time, we'll finish the boards. I'll figure out in between what I wanna put on them and then we'll go from there. So, I will see you another day. Okay, I found a small roll of black tape so I just did one board to test it out and I already know I'm gonna love it but let's put the border up and see. Okay, see, yes, the black around makes it pop so much more I love the way that looks. I'm gonna step back so you can just see, like cut borders, pull everything together. It's so beautiful. So when these all have that, it's gonna look gorgeous. Okay, so I finished all the borders. Hold tight for these numbers. That's coming in the next vlog. That's a sneak peek. Um, all of the borders look so good. I am really glad that I added black washi tape around. I just think it adds a nice pop. So all of these bulletin boards are done. On a different day, I did go ahead and add some picture frames. These are all from Dollar Tree. No, they're not perfectly straight, but that's okay. And I went ahead and took down that word work sign. So, this was a very quick kind of sporadic vlog, but if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to end this vlog here because I'm gonna pick my camera back up literally in two minutes to start the next one because the next vlog is gonna be all about the walls and my goal is to finish them in that next vlog. So, so if you haven't already, go ahead and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video or any future videos to come. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.